Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines and of course to the Green Cities DLC. Now then, in today's episode, we've got a couple of things that we're going to want to have to deal with. Namely, we really need, do need to get the uh, death kit under control. Cemetery usage is currently at 70% and <laughs> we're going to need to sort that out. Currently got four cemeteries across the, the city, but I think we can do a couple of things that will hopefully improve this situation just a tad for us. Now, with our latest expansion, we have access to the crematorium. The crematorium, a modern way to process the departed, is through the use of thermal energy. Coincidentally, it also saves space. Hmm, yes, funny that one. We're definitely going to need this. So, where are we going to place them? We can, we've got a couple of places we can, we can put them. Um, we could have a crematorium up here on this hill here. Not super keen on that one, I'll be honest. Uh, let's see, where else might we be able to fit one? We could have one down there. We could definitely have something just kind of uh, snuck in around here, perhaps. Let's not put it right next to the school. Uh, we could have one down here, maybe. Hmm. That one might not actually be a bad idea, though. This is more the commercial district. I think this needs to be definitely in the residential districts specifically um, we could place it here and uh, be rid of this particular shop yeah I think that'll be a, a decent place to pop one so let's get that in there just about there I think there we are that's going to generally increase people's happiness in this area now we could place down a second one and that would generally speaking help out quite a lot because our capacity is, is actually quite high uh, but I think we're gonna go to plan for the expansion and we'll place one just down here. We'll just have it on this road. Oh, actually, no, we can pop it down there. There we go. And that'll help around here. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that's going to be a big help moving forward. Now we've got loads of things in here. We've got yoga garden. We've got the community pool. That's quite an expensive addition. We've got the sports hall and gymnasium. Hmm. That's an extremely expensive one. It's uh, quite a large one, though. That would cover quite a lot of space. We could have something like that around here if we really wanted to. I would cover the vast majority of these districts, though. It would hit the radio mass there. Unless we placed it now. We'd have to place it somewhere else. Uh, we could have it placed down here, but it would get rid of the the bike route again, which is not strictly something we want to do. If I were to place it there, though, yeah, we could. Let's just move this along a little bit. Just pop this one about there instead. There we go. And then we could get this just nestled in there. I think that would actually be quite nice. Let's just see what we're going to be losing. Yeah, we'll be losing a couple of homes for this. A shame, to be sure. But that may well be a massive help to the uh, overall health in this area. It's going to be costly help, though. Uh, that can't be understated. But there we go. Hopefully uh, that will help out a little bit. Now, still one of the biggest issues is the congestion around here, especially around the morning. So I'm thinking we may want to change that. This is going okay so far. Over here, not doing too badly. We're actually getting quite a lot of uh, traffic using this route which is fine, especially because it's spreading out a little bit. And as a result, we're not seeing a, as much traffic trying to use this, because this an, a, is a narrow road, but uh, generally things are being helped. But we can definitely do a little bit of something over here to help out with any traffic that specifically just wants to go from one side of the city to the other. And I think that is what we're going to be working on now then. Uh, though I noticed that the land isn't quite in the right place here, so let's uh, just, just adjust this up a wee bit. There we go. That's nice. There we are. And a little bit over here as well. Just a bit. Just to fill in the gaps there. There we go. Perfect. Right. Okay. So we want to take something out there. Nah, this. <laughs> no, that wibbly wobbly road. That needs to change. Let's uh, pause time here because it really does need to change. We can't have a wibbly wobbly road. No. No, that just won't do. Uh, let's get rid of all of that. And in fact this. And then we can take the... Uh, the on-ramp from about here, bring you out, 
Something like this, I imagine. That would be fine. There we go. Actually, that does not look too bad at all. That does not look bad at all. Maybe we could do that on the other side. Hmm. Yes, let's try and do that. That actually looks quite nice. There we are. And once again, all the way from here to there. Uh, gonna have to lose that rock. Can we can we do it so that we don't have to lose either one? Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm more attached to the large one than the small one. So goodbye, small rock. There we go. And we just need to rotate that around. There we go. Perfect. That actually looks quite nice. I, I like it. Though this side still had that, that slope there. Mm, oh well. But the idea I had is to take a... We'll branch off a little bit around here. And then just go straight under and then connect on the other side. That'll give a direct access for any traffic that just wants to move from one side of the city to the next. To the next. So this will only be used then for anything entering or leaving the city. Which I think is going to be a much better route for us to take. So we'll grab something like this. And let's see. Where do we want to make the connection? Just before this turn off would probably be a bit nicer than not. Where do we want to make the connection over on this side? Hmm. Around there, I would say. And there we go. Perfect. Right, now our traffic has a direct route from one side of the city to the other. And I think that is going to be exactly, exactly what we need. Um, just on the off chance... Well, no, I don't think we're going to need a uh, turn there. Because this is that's only there as part of this junction. So hopefully, let's speed up time a little bit. We'll actually see that road go into place. I did have to play around quite a lot to get those to go under the uh, the roundabout. The problem was, is whilst trying to build the, the tunnel, everything wanted to link to the tunnel, The sorry, the uh, roundabout uh, points, the roundabout roads. It was quite the pain. But there we go. We've got a lot of traffic now moving through here. There we are. That is so much better. And that is taking a lot of pain off this roundabout here. Now, some of the traffic will just go straight through the tunnel there and join up on the other side. We are still seeing a, a fair number of cars using the roundabout, but generally the congestion now all exists uh, on this road. Now, that's something that we are ultimately going to want to fix, and perhaps we can do that with buses in the future. On that note, though, how are our buses doing? How are they? Are there generally many people at the bus stops? No? Well, actually, no, there are a couple. Thinking about that, there are there are a fair few. Let's have a look over here. How are the bus stops doing, generally speaking? You can usually spot the bus stops because, uh, well, a lot of people at them, first and foremost. But also that little dip in the road there, just where people can uh, get... Uh, and uh, Where the buses can pull in, sorry. Now, I may set up a, a second route on every uh, bus route that I've got a circular on. Oh, wow, this place looks amazing now. Absolutely amazing. But I may set up a second route going in the opposite direction just to help our, um, uh, our passengers because if they get on the bus here, but it, they wanted to go over here, for example, and they have to go all the way around. So by doing that, you're, you're allowing everyone to be as near regardless which at which point they get on the bus. Now that hasn't really helped this as much as I had hoped, I'll be honest with you. Hasn't quite helped it as much as I had hoped. There's quite a lot of movement ar uh, along this, this junction though, which is fine. They get up here and then they're on their way. Okay, well we'll see how that goes for the time being. I may want to upgrade this at some later stage, but uh, for now, it seems to have taken quite a lot of heat off the the roundabout, which is exactly what we wanted to do. We still have a lot of movement around here, which is pretty awesome. However, we are going to want to bring that train all the way over here, I think, because that would further cut down the amount of trucks that are being moved around. Uh, right, well, let's have a quick look at our death key. How's that going, generally speaking? That one is currently full. Uh, let's start making room there. How are you doing over here? Uh, you're fine. How about yourself? Um, actually, quite good. And down here, if I can click on the right thing. Uh, yeah, operating normally. It's getting close-ish. We'll have to see how that, that goes. But uh, for the time being, 
things aren't too terrible. Now, the problem here is this one isn't necessarily going to empty into the other, other uh, cemeteries. They may be emptied into the crematorium. Alas! That's just one of those things, I'm afraid. Right, well, at the moment, we need a lot more um, industrial. And I think the industrial that they want is unlikely to be more... Uh, more offices. We've got plenty of offices at the moment and that's uh, going well for us but uh, we're gonna have to have a look in setting up some probably more industrial that has no particular specialization. Either that or some mining. And we've got quite a lot of mining opportunities up here. And there, there's definitely a part of me that likes the idea of this this being being an area up by the mines. I, I don't know. That, that's a horrible thing to wish on anyone, really. But the idea that this this is like a mining community. I don't know. Salt of the earth people. The best people I've ever met were in a mining community. community or what was left of one. Uh, there's just some, there's a quality of, of people who've lived who who've lived the legacy of, of hard work and toil for most of their lives. It, it teaches you to to appreciate things in a different way. All right, let's uh, get this all the way out there. Um, we could actually hook up to the emergency evacuation shelter around there, perhaps. That should be good for now, though. Uh, now, the thing is, this is going to put a, a fair bit of strain on our roads so i might actually want something branching off this as well but we'll we'll give our um our residential way in there as well oops that is completely the wrong road why was i on that one uh i know why i was on that one don't answer that question uh, let's get all of that replaced there we go this will give the resident uh residents uh, a much faster access to their jobs which i think will be appreciated but we definitely do want a a heavier duty road heading up here so let's pop this one down and yeah, we'll take it out to about here and then we'll start curving it a little bit more freeform uh sure we'll stop bringing this up i'm thinking hmm. let's have the overlay there so i can see exactly what i'm doing bring that up a little bit curve it down more and probably right down on this side something like that We'll have connect plenty of connections moving up from this road, because honestly, this is where the majority of the uh, the industry will be. Let's head back over here now. Can we just make this a road straight down? We might be able to, actually. Uh, yes, we can. Marvelous. Let's bring this out a little ways and then have a connection here, something like that. And we'll have a simple curve. Uh, that's a little bit too much of a curve, really, when you think about it. That will do. And connect that up. There we go. And this one can connect there. Actually, let's pull this back. Let's dial it back a little bit. Have this road a little bit less uh, aggressive. Something like that should do. There we go. Now, we've got plenty of access now for the, the workers to get into where they're going to work. We're going to want a couple of connecting roads. In fact, we're going to want a few connecting roads around here. Quite, quite a few. Let's bring this one down. We'll have another curve around about here. There we are. I am still going to want to be able to see where the best ore locations are. Let's take this road up following its current angle and then we can have a, another curve about there. Mm. Yeah, we'll actually bring it up to around there. That should be good. And then we can branch off plenty of other roads just to allow us to pop down the, the ore industry here. Now, this is going to cause probably a, a few issues for our, our citizens living down below. I mean, you know, let's, let's be honest. Mines are... They're not good for your health, generally. So we may want to expand the health infrastructure down there to accommodate what we're, what's going to happen around here. Let's get that down there. There we go. Have a, a nice angled road leading up there. And let's bring this down just a little bit and then a curve across, I think, would be nice. It's something like that. There we are. And then a little tiny curve here. Perfect. Okay, that gives us something to play with. In fact, we can do a little bit more on this side as well, I think. Just something to about there. I have a basic curve here. Something like that. 
and then another connection up to the main road. Perfect. So hopefully all of our trucks will use this road, but our citizens can simply uh, drive up or even cycle to work, frankly, which I would appreciate. Right, we're going to need to make sure there is plenty of water uh, across this area. And I think the best way to do that would be to come up along there and just follow the main road to start with. So something like this. And we can uh, connect down here. That's easy enough done. Um, since there are going to be plenty of uh, locations in here for... Uh, we're, we're not making a very good case for connecting the road up as at the moment. We are overlapping a lot. But that being said, we don't need to worry about, uh, about the cost of these overlaps as we used to. Traditionally, we have to be very, very cautious, especially right at the beginning of the game. You've really got to worry about every single dollar you spend. So worrying about uh, you know superfluous pipes or pylons is reasonable but towards this point we really don't need to worry about it that much now we can have a water treatment plant and i think we should let's pop this one um we'll have this one down a little bit further have this one all the way down there and uh, just hook that up there we are now we're going to need to have a, a pylon just to connect it i know that's a bit annoying but it should be fine there we go there we are that should help us out quite a lot there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Marvelous. I may, I may replace most of these with just a couple of, of, of those. Though they're so pretty in a really grotesque way. Right. Okay. So now we've got this whole area hooked up. Let's just make sure that we've got some energy going up there. In fact, that looks like as good a place as any to connect it. There we go. And it is time for us to create a new area. So let's uh, start drawing this out. There we go. All the way down. And we'll just follow this road up. And this will be our new in heavy industry up here. There we are. Because we can't just have a city full of offices. Because frankly, we just don't have enough educated workers for that to work. Right, there we go. So I want in here the ore industry. Mine raw ore from Earth's crust and ship it to local businesses for further processing. Moderately increased ground pollution and electricity consumption. Moderately increased tax income. Requires natural resource ore non-renewable there we are and with that let's just pop down a couple of little starter industry spaces around here there we go we'll just take that all the way up this road there we are that should help us out a fair bit now we do have a lot of people who are looking for this sort of thing Ooh, what was that i do not dig this at all mayor has anyone considered the ecological impact of mining and how this will ruin our beautiful town well I have, and then I consider all of the people who are desperate for jobs. It's a juggling act, really. I mean, it would be wonderful if we could just not have to use metals at all. Unfortunately, your house is probably riddled with it, like mainly the electricity. Uh, maybe one day we will invent a, a wonderful, wonderful science that, that will border on magic, which will allow electricity to move around without the need for metal, or for that matter, all of your cooking implements, or for that matter, your car. Or any other number of things. You know, even if you want to move to plastic, you got to get oil. So, I don't know. The world is a complex place, and everywhere we go, there's going to be problems. We just have to do the best we can. Right, okay, with that done, let's... Uh, hmm. Honestly, I think you guys are really going to need something to chill out to. And, uh, I mean, you know, it, it is kind of a problem. So let's give you some, some nice spaces. Uh, at least where you can get away from all of the, uh, all of the, the churning and the, and the smelters and, and the foundries. Let's give you, um, no, not a playground. That is entirely the wrong type of thing. I'm not going to give you a massive park either because that is way too big. Uh, dog park? No, let's not have your dogs up there. How about, hmm... Uh, maybe a tropical island. Actually, you know what? Since we were talking about health, let's go for something else. Let's get a yoga garden up here. That amuses me. Let's let's do it. There we go. A little yoga garden. So you can just go and go go and chill out a little bit, you know. From the from the terrible, terrible oppressive heat of the forges. Alright, uh, let me have a look at you then down here. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll stop that. You seem to be good enough. Supporting the oil industry was the right choice. This is just what our city's economy needed. Industrial boom! Well, 
don't get too used to it because as much as I say, well, you know, it's one thing to, to not want, want it, but it, I don't see anyone like not using metal things around here to make their point. It is entirely another thing. I'm not going to like, you know, mine everything. There is a point. Everything in moderation, there has to be a balance until that wonderful day where we do invent science that is uh, akin to magic and we don't need any of these things which is doing harm to the planet but and you know that's probably a little ways away i don't imagine that we've got that in this dlc maybe in the future though uh right around here we're going to expand our agricultural industry quite aggressively actually we still need a lot of those jobs though that being said let's just make sure that our population is doing okay no one seems to be complaining about a lack of workers over here um you know what we're actually going to continue fleshing this out down here first before we move into more agriculture simply because i want to make sure that we've got the um population and specifically the, the work is for this area. I don't want to have two half developed areas because I'm paying for these roads regardless. So it makes sense to make use of them where I can. Now, also having this up there, I could bring along uh, another train line, frankly. And that might be useful. In fact, I'm fairly certain that would be useful. So let's make that happen, shall we? It's expensive, but uh, I'm willing. Right, so we want a train, we want another cargo station. That being said, you can just get down there if you particularly want to, but uh, I think this should be fine. We'll have it about here, I think. Let's just pop that in there. There we go. Now, to get the train through here and around that corner, it's it's a bit of a, a sharp angle, but I think we can make it happen. Let's go for something like this. Up uh, there, and we want it to be going right the way through so let's bring this all the way down that is probably good enough about there there we are and we want to bring it out about here i'm thinking yeah somewhere there and then hook that up just about there there we go that should be wonderful okay so uh not only have we set up a new industrial area we have avoided putting down too much um, too much extra strain on our already stressed road network because that is that is terrible still terrible a lot better than it used to be though people can at least get into the city but there's still massive queues where are you off to right now now well, we could since everything is in that that one lane which is the problem maybe if we did expand it into a three lane it would help I'm not sure if the traffic would really be that sensible about it, but we can always try. Uh, we might even be able to, to fit it, frankly, which would be quite glorious. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and upgrade these roads, like so. And we'll see what you do with that, shall we? Ah, drat down and blast. Gonna have to adjust those places there unfortunately what's happening there is that the uh, pillars here are, are um, getting clipped if we try to expand the road but i think we can still manage it um, this is too short okay may need to have a look into that one too then all right well let's get that sorted right now okay there we go it's not quite as symmetrical as it was before but hopefully, now with the additional lane, there we go, that's better. They are actually using the lanes correctly. Marvellous, that is all we wanted. And with that, I think we're actually, uh, we may have fixed the majority of the problems that we were having there. Marvellous, that we have added more problems in, in a way, but we'll see how this affects everything over time. Still, we've got quite a lot of industry build up here, and they don't seem to be struggling, which is very good to see. Let's add in a couple more then, and see how that changes things. There we go. And the same down here as well. Uh, actually, let's get rid of these ones. I don't quite want it to be that close. We may add in uh, a little bit more health care around here, perhaps. At the moment, death care seems okay for the time being. It seems fine. I am extremely happy about that, in fact. Uh, let's see. We've got the sauna. Mm, do my workers, do, do my miners need a sauna? I think they do. I think a sauna is perfect for them. Let's pop down at a sauna. 
right about there. There you go. Also, we are struggling for power. Very well. Well, this is at least one thing that I don't have to worry about uh, using numerous different uh, non-renewable sources. We can just get this built down here if we would like. And I think I would. So let's go ahead and get this set up. That is totally going the wrong way, but it, it's not, uh, not necessarily an issue there. Actually, no, it isn't going the wrong way. I'm, I'm lying. It is, in fact, going the right way. Coming up here and then connecting there. That's fine. We'll take those around. And we'll get another solar updraft tower installed. There we go. We'll give you a little bit of room there. Pomp. Perfect. And that should take care of all of our issues. There we are. Oh, you still need a little bit of water. Almost forgot. All of our issues are now, in fact, corrected. Marvellous. I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, so, places are upgrading down here. Actually, they're upgrading quite a lot. Wow. They must really like all of the, the little bits that have been, been adding around here, and that's a very nice thing to see. Very nice thing to see. I guess that sauna has done a, a huge, huge bit of work for them. Either that, or they're just really happy to have all of these available jobs. But we do not need much in the way of industrial now. Though it's creeping up a little bit. I think we'll finish off this area before we do anything else then. So, there we go. Just the last little bit. Just popped around there. And there we are. How are we doing for fire protection over here? We've actually got fire protection right there. Marvellous. Excellent, in fact. And the heavily... Uh, sorry, the police. We are doing... Well... Starting to see some worker shortages creeping in. A little bit of a worry. Little bit of a worry. In that case, it's time for us to continue expanding out our residential. In fact, yeah, we've got a huge demand for more residential. All right. Well, do we want to continue expanding this side? I actually think we do, since we've already got it all set up here. We might as well. So with that, then, let's get down some more roads. You know what? I'm going to keep you with me for the designing of this little area. Let's uh, get this all in place. Uh, there's not going to be an easy way for me to avoid breaking your houses there. Okay, you know what? I'm in a I'm in a magnanimous mood right now. Let's let's do what we have to to avoid breaking your house. There we are, and about there. Just clear that up. Now I would like to have a road heading down to around here. There we are, and we can just bring that up a little bit. Now this road is not going to have the best curve, so let's do our little trick. Just about two there, that's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. We'll have to go a little bit further out. There we go. And here as well, a little bit further out. There we are. And let's just get in a really nice curve there. There we go. Perfect. That looks wonderful. It's a sharp curve, then a, then a smooth curve. Uh, it'll have to do. Right, in here, I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do in this area here. Because I'm... There's a big part of me that just wants to leave that. And we can have like a park or something back there. Like a really big part of me wants to do that. As much as that might not uh, be the most efficient use of the space, it would be a nice use of the space all the same. Uh, if we bring this all the way up there. Mm, no, let's, let's take a, a straight road. A fair way up before we start putting the curves. You can get a little bit curve happy in this game. I certainly can at least. That'll do. There we are. There we go. Now, I'm going to bring out... Uh, we'll make some interesting shapes around here, but let's not get too fancy. Though, that being said, we are actually starting to get to a point now where I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of traffic on these roads. Let's actually have a quick look at that. How congested are the roads? Yeah, these ones are especially congested. That'll be um, significantly helped if we draw this out a little bit further, though. So let's uh, quickly do that, shall we? Just bring that down here and have another connection. Right about there. Just bringing things in. And similarly, let's uh, take this out to there. There we go. That'll, that'll take a little tiny bit of the strain off that road. It's not going to be a huge improvement, but it'll at least be a, something of an improvement. Additionally, I am a little bit um, worried about the lack of pedestrian access across there. I'm being distracted. I know I am. I know. I know. 
And I'm not in the least bit sorry. Now, the question here is, would I be able to get a pedestrian path up sharp enough? I'm not sure. Because, yeah, I'm fairly certain we don't have enough room for that. But uh, one thing we could do, actually... Okay, let's uh, do this. And then... Sure, we've got one, two, three, four. Right by... So that's 12. Let me pull that down. One, two, three, four. Let's actually take it out five and then have that come up by a couple. Straight across there. And then go back down. Or, in fact, we'll go out again. One, two, three, four, five. And all the way back down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, building. But down. No. There we go. You've now got uh, easy pedestrian access there. Marvellous. That's wonderful. That'll uh, save you quite a bit of time. Because they're currently having to walk all the way down there just to use the zebra crossings. No, that that should help a little bit. We're already seeing quite a lot of people using that, which makes me happy. In fact, we're going to pop another one much in the same place down here. We are going to try and avoid destroying too valuable of a building. So one, two, three, four, five, more or less, if we uh, stop snapping to the roads. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, and over. One, two, three, four, five, and back down. Sorry for counting there. It's just I really should get some of the mods to just allow me to, to see how long something is. I am really tempted to do it. As much as I don't want to use uh, mods, I am getting extremely close to just going for that. But there we go. We've got a, got a bit of uh, pedestrian access that should make things a lot easier over there. Okay, right. Well, I am definitely going to be keeping a little spot inside here free. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Oh, well, should we have a little dirt track? Super slow speed, but that, that's that's fine for what I want. Let's just bring you back here. And we can uh, expand yard a little bit in the back there. We can have some really, really nice park. Yeah, let's have a, have a look. What kind of parks do we have available? I want something large. So, small park? No. Small playground? No. Large playground? No. Park with trees. You could get that in there. And that will be glorious. So that's another another version of that one, or rather it's exactly the same thing as that one. But that was going to very uh, much increase the land value of this area. So there we go. We can have a couple of paths running off this as well if we really wanted to. Uh, I'll consider that... Uh, well, we'll pop down one at least. Let's go ahead and connect all of these up. There we go. Let's bring you out and then have a, a nice gentle curve up in this direction and then straight out to connect to that road. There we are. Or rather, you will be in a moment. There we go. Perfect. I do wish we didn't have to build these roads in order to connect things up like that. I, I'd love the idea of a tiny little secret park in, in between a load of, of high-rise buildings. And there are mods that allow you to just build off paths. Super tempted on those ones. I've never actually used them, but the, my, the, just knowing that they exist has always made me wonder what kind of marvellous little places I could hide in amongst high-rise buildings if I just enabled it. And we may well find out at some point. Uh, let's actually go for low density on these ones. Uh, in fact, no, I've changed my mind on that one. Let's take these away. We'll continue the high density up to here, but then we're going to have a couple of low density shops just on these corners here. There we are. I think that's lovely. Because we do have a, a need for some more commercial. And then we can fill this out on this side. And then just finish that off with this. There we go. That'll actually give us quite a lot more uh, more houses there. Especially as they level up. Which would be glorious. We're currently up to 16,000 people living in our city. And that is that is quite humbling. Very glad that so many want to live here. Now, what we are probably going to do is we're probably going to start developing the residences on this side. That's the last little bit that I'm going to add to that side for now. Let's actually check out my workers. Eh, still still hurting for workers. And oh my lord, this place has really gone to the dogs. Okay, well there's another thing we can do to try and fix that actually. And that involves buying this tile. Yes, purchase it. Go ahead. Right, there we are. Our city is growing and so is our industry. I hope this is taken into account when zoning plans are made. Indeed, 
it shall be. Now, what we're going to do over here is we're going to continue growing out our agricultural industry around here. We might even move our forestry industry, though there is also ore right there, my lord. We might end up moving all of the industries over here. That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. But uh, we're going to extend out the residential around here, probably significantly, before we start building up the uh, high-rise residential over on this side. Yeah, I think we're we'll definitely starting to see some sort of segregation happening now uh, in different parts of the city. Eventually, we'll get all of this set up and then we'll have a more ready access point for my vehicles into the commercial district back here. And maybe that's something we'll look into in the next episode. But I do hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll be joining us for the next. My goodness, there's so many abandoned buildings. We may actually unlock a special building by having that many abandoned um, facilities there, but we'll, we'll have to see. But that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, with a final view down this very, very populated street, do take care.